Aston Martin morning. Good morning. A cup of coffee. My brother. My best friend Bailey. Uh huh. So we're friends now. We've always been friends, Bailey. Oh, uh, thanks, Andrew. What are we going to do? The hum of two V12 engines. Yeah. Are we replacing the Astons? Warnings don't get much better than this. He knows heads that had ports above sea level, and he made this his first stop. Tristan, can you turn off your fucking audio book? The ports and hurling the key to the cell. Why is Tristan's audio book on this phone? Tristan, turn off your audio book, you dork. Who listens to fucking audio books? <laughs> fucking gay. Right, so I've decided the things are out of control. Remember when I bought that M3 for five minutes and it's never been seen ever again? Yes. It feels a little bit heavy even though it is an absolute animal. And then I thought, I wonder if an M3 feels a little bit lighter. Driving this RS7, it reminds me of my M5, obviously, but then it makes me wonder, like, what's, what's an M3 like? Like, steering-wise, like, what's the feel of an M3, you know? So the only way I could possibly find out is to buy an M3. I've decided that that is ridiculous and irresponsible and immature and wasteful. And I should never do anything like that ever again. So for that reason, I've stopped buying new cars. It's actually surprisingly hard to do with one hand. It was as though the do you want me to hold your coffee? No, I'm a master of Aikido. Turn off this fucking audio book! <laughs> that audio book's super annoying. Right. John, what is it? Win, lose, or die. John Gardner. So, I've decided to be more efficient with my car collection and be like more... What's the word? Conservative? I don't think that's the right, absolutely correct word, but you know what I mean. Not just buy cars and throw them away and not care about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these Astons away to get some work done and get repaired. Because normally what I do is just drive them into the ground until they explode and buy new ones. But I love these cars more than I thought I would. The V12 Vantage behind you, I didn't think I'd like it all, to be honest with you. I thought I'd hate it. The one Tristan's in. But I actually like it very, very much. So these cars are going off to get looked after. And then I thought, well, I could just bring the 765 back. But then, I can't do a dance with a car I've already had here. You know the dance I have to That's do? The important cool. dance? What about daddy cool? I'm crazy like a fool. What about daddy I can't just bring the 765 because then I can't dance. So I had to buy a bunch of new cars. <laughs> I don't see any cars. You might have unloaded them already. You might be a very efficient German man. Let's see. <laughs> Phone chargers, Aston Martin umbrella. No, Bailey, when's the last time you were stabbed with an Aston Martin umbrella? Let's keep it at never. <laughs> the on guard. guard. <laughs> Drug test from the Iranian police. That's essential. Two cars or three cars back to the Two. Two. Two maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. I need to think. Can we get these ones in and then we'll... Yes. Well, I'm not oh my god. Nice. So the new GT3 RS. A new one, because we have the GT4 RS. In fact, we have two GT4 RSs. So now I have a new GT3 RS. It should be fun. Although I saw a drag race in the GT4 RS1, which was quite con quite unusual. Thank you very much, friend. The 765 we all know and love. Brought it back for the summer. And then we have a Ferrari 812 competition. And then we have a... Uh, Man, because we're always in the S-Class at the back, but the peasants can see in, and like the poor people, and they're all like, Hi! Can I have a photo? So you're all broke. Just fuck off. <laughs> so in the van, like, the poor people can't get to me, you know? I don't have to see them. 
Because when I see them, it's depressing. It makes me sad. <laughs> Pretty. It's gorgeous, but wait, Tristan hasn't done any dancing. Uh, we can't go anywhere until we start our dancing. Fucking amateur. Who does he think he is? I oh, don't know. All right. Well, well how does it go? Uh, Police try to put us in jail, try to take all our money, try to take all our cars, couldn't take all our cars, couldn't take all our money. We have too much money. Here's our new cars. Yeah, basically, something like that, yeah. And then we dance? <laughs> all right, let's go. There was a really interesting YouTube video by some brokey complaining. Complaining, saying, oh, like, oh, Porsches are a scam and you can't get the new G... He, he did a breakdown of a car dealership and how Porsches work, the Porsche dealerships. He's like, you can't get a new GT3 RS unless you've bought 10 Porsches and it's all a big scam. You can't buy one. I went into every dealership and you can't get hold of these cars. They're impossible to get hold of. Calm down, poor person. Calm down. Because I can get whatever the fuck I want the same day. Just because you have no... Nobody respects you. I'm, Andrew Tate here, what you got? Give me it. Some fucking dork. Oh, I can only afford six Porsches, so I can't have a GT3 RS. Imagine having less than 10 Porsches. So what are you fucking gay? Like, there's always some homosexual on the internet talking shit. So yeah, these are supposedly hard to get hold of, but I'm sure lots of things are hard to do if you're poor. How much does this cost? Fuck knows. You think I look at the prices? I know you don't. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. 200 grand, 300 grand, 400 grand. Most of the cars are between three and eight. And to me, that's the same. So I just fucking <laughs> click yes. Aerodynamics, low downforce mode. We've got the downforce modes, PTV mode, PASM mode. I don't even know what that fucking means. It's gonna be great. This car is gonna be fun. You're gonna abuse this car. Country information, Romania. Speed limits in Romania. Oh, this car's gonna get abused. Porsches are like, that seven out of 10 girlfriend you have, she's not quite as pretty as the others, but she got a, like a nice rack and you can just do whatever the fuck you want to her. <laughs> and she's like, love you. <laughs> she's one of them, you know? <laughs> like a McLaren is the real gorgeous 10 out of 10, but she needs to go out for dinner or she'll be in a bad mood. But Porsche is just, you just kick the shit out of it. That's man. wifey. Uh, yeah, Porsche, Porsche is bulletproof. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I messaged a competent authority and I say, give me whatever the fuck I want all the time. It was actually very interesting, that YouTube video, because the guy was crying his little eyes out, explaining how difficult it is. It's just really hard, I keep asking. Listen, the world is closed off to poor people. That's how the world works. You're not allowed nice things, and you're not allowed to go to nice places, because you're all trouble. When you have poor people around, look at a train, look at a subway. Poor people around you, it just fucks everything up. Us, the people at the top, it's all a big club. You're not in it. So of course you can't get the car you want. Of course you fucking can't. What a fuck. Think about it, you're a Porsche. Do you want Andrew Tate to have a GT3 RS so we can make this video and millions of people see it? Or you want Joe fucking nobody to get one so we can sit there and hide it in his house and never drive it because, see I spilled coffee all over mine. It doesn't even matter. Or do you want Joe Nobody to get one so he can hide it in his house and like never drive it on the street because he's afraid that he might put miles on it? Or do you want me to make super cool content drifting around, kicking the living shit out of it? <laughs> What's better for the brand? You think they're not gonna give me a fucking Porsche? You are all nobodies. And I've already ordered 50 grand of carbon. With every single piece of plastic you see in black is getting replaced with carbon. Oh shit. That's so right. this is carbon like the hood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Carbon, 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 carbon. carbon. Yeah, yeah. Everything's gonna be carbon. Everything. Because they do it in plastic because it's usually like a, for track, a track car and they get fucked up. So they go, you want to put carbon on it, it'll get fucked up. And I'm like, I'm rich. <laughs> so I had to explain to them, we'll just order two carbon kits. So when I fuck up the carbon, you can replace it. What the fuck? Duh. Howdy, loser. Howdy. Can I dance and drive? Can you?
best I can. You know the worst thing about these vans, because I had one before. Diamond light on the roof? Ooh. The worst thing about these vans, because I had one before, and I know you poor people don't understand, but I'm gonna let you know. It's impossible to take a girl in this van without her trying to suck you off. It's so annoying. Every single time you get in one of these vans with a chick, this is so cool, for five minutes, and they're watching TV, and they end up trying to suck you off. Every fucking time, you're like, stop! You're the fifth girl I've seen today, and the first four have already sucked me off. No! <laughs> don't! <laughs> trying to be sexy and shit. Do you know what's sexy? Leaving me alone. <laughs> don't touch me. That's sexy. I know you, when you want speed, you go for the McLaren. And when you want all around, you always go for this. It's true. I can it tell you're happy. True. I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. That's because I live with you. <laughs> but now I'm happy. Because I can avoid you. I can drive away. 